This week I've shared with you about the word trust and I've shared with you about a young man who had some, at the time, seemingly silly superstitions, yet we all have those. And yet he has taken his life to the point where he wants to trust God in all that he does because there are people watching. And one of those that is watching is his new young wife, who they together are trying to take that step of trusting God right from the beginning of their marriage. Sometimes that's difficult. And sometimes it's difficult when you have younger couples that are around you that are trying to pull you away. Hey, come here and come and do this. And they know that are things that are not what God would want them to do. We're gonna switch gears on you here a little bit. I'm gonna read you this verse from Isaiah 26, four, and it says, trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord is everlasting strength everlasting forever we can rest in his strength see you are in the center of trust and you make that choice as to whether or not you desire to trust or even want to trust and that trust grows a little bit at a time little by little by little you can continue to deposit into that trust bank but here's the thing at the end of the day the one that is everlasting the one that is eternal the one with all the strength that we could ever possibly imagine he trusts completely he trusts us completely. Even when we screw up, even when we mess up, we can know that He trusts us. And we can also know that we can trust in Him because that's what He brings to you and that's what He brings to me. Rest in that trust and we'll see you tomorrow.